it is my honor and pleasure to present my uh, work on Alice Young as well as Wellington Chow. Uh, actually, uh, my major is in modern Korean history. Uh, my hobby is to archive researches. And actually, I met with a blog meet in, at Iwa and find a very interesting stories from Czech archives. We gathered so many information from uh, Korea, United States, Japan, as well as in Czechoslovakia, Czech Republic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let me see. Yeah, this is Alice Hyun. Actually, uh, I found her name uh, from uh, North Korean document in my when I was a college student, maybe in 1985, something ago. And at the time, uh, North Korea argued that she was a U.S. spy, intelligence agent spy. And her name was not, not a Korean one. Her Korean name is Hyun Myo, but not used Korean name, but Alice Hyun. And she worked for the U.S. intelligence agent's name Civil Communication Intelligence Group Korea, Mingan uh, Tongshin a very interesting organization. And she connected with Park Hanyeong. At the time, she, uh, Park Hanyeong was the vice premier of North Korea and as well as uh, uh, minister of foreign affairs at the time. But he was ex executed by North Korean government as a U.S. spy because of Alicia. And they argue that uh, Alice was the first lover of Park Hanyeo when his early stay in Shanghai, 1920s. Uh, I was very fascinated at the story. There was a spy behind the political struggles in North Korea. And 10 years later, I read uh, the US uh, military intelligence secret documents from uh, National Archives, and they argue that Alice was a communist spy. According to the, to the uh, chief of uh, U.S. intelligence agents in South Korea, they argued that Alice was a double who destroyed the mission of CCIGK, Chief Intelligence Korea. I, I can believe. North Korea argued that she was a U.S. spy, but U.S. military government intelligence chief argued that she was a communist spy. And then, to in 2000, uh, there was widespread news art, newspaper articles in Korea that Alice was a Korean Mahari. Wow. So I was very confused and I have dig out um, several information on her and write an article. And Alice might be executed in North, North Korea around 1956 when Park Hanem was executed. Yeah. This is a picture of Alice with uh, her son, Wellington. And yes. And this is Park uh, in, in his twenties. Uh, this picture was known as taken in uh, Moscow, uh, 1929. According to, to the holder, uh, this, this guy is known as Ho Chi Minh, the leader of, of Vietnam Revolutionary War. And this uh, this lady is Park Hanyeong's first wife, Chu Sejo, and Park Hanyeo. And I found out, uh, no, 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 I found out this is Lear Ho Chi Minh, different person. And what do you think? This is Lear Chu Sejo. She was famous beauty in 1920s in Seoul. Different person, not, not a plastic surgery. <laughs> and, and actually, I found Alice and her brother Peter from this picture. Wow. And that means that this picture was taken in Shanghai in the 1920s. So I, I made a mind, my mind to write this story from the poem. And I, I think uh, this one is Chu Seju. Uh, Park Hanyeong's first wife, yes, different pictures taken in Cheonggyecheon, Cheonggyecheon River, and Chu Sejuk, a famous uh, Korean social, socialist 
women, uh, Kim Young Ja, Ho Jung Soo. She, 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 she became a uh, minister of uh, education, something like that. And, uh, this one is Park Han Young. Uh, his young days. Uh, this, this picture was taken in Vladivostok when Park Han Young escaped uh, from uh, Korea after he released from prison life and Chu Se Chu was pregnant. Uh, the uh, first baby and the last baby, Viviana. Uh -huh. And yes, they separate when Pakana was apprehended by uh, Japanese uh, police and she remarried with, with Pakanyong's friend, uh, famous communist Kim Danya. But he also uh, executed by Stalin in 1937. And also, she was moved to move, move to a kind of labor a relocation camp, and uh, she was in in orphanage until the end of the World War Two. Yes, and this is Alice Young and her brother Peter. So who who is Alice Young, and why did she met Park Hyun Young in Shanghai, two thousand? And she was a daughter of a famous Korean independence movement fighter named Hyun Soo. Yeah. He studied in Japan and he, be he became an official translator of first Korean immigration to Hawaii in 1903. And Alice was born. She was the, the first Korean baby who was born in Hawaii and became naturalized US citizen. Mm -hmm. And Comes back to Korea and served several churches, including Cheongdong Church, the famous church in Korea. And he joined the March 1st movement and moved to Shanghai and became a represent representative of Korean provisional government and stayed in Washington DC several years. And then back to Shanghai and he went to Moscow conference, the, the first congress of the oppressed people of the Far East, sponsored by Moscow. Yeah, pretty, uh, very weird situation, but anyway, he moved to Hawaii and, and worked for the Minister of Korean Churches there and uh, moved, moved LA after the end of the war and passed away in 1968. He, uh, he awarded the uh, Korean Patriot. Uh, uh, now he's, he's in National Cemetery in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Alice was born in 1903, and her name is Mio. Korean name is Mio. Beautiful Jade. And she moved to uh, Seoul and uh, graduated from Iwa Girls Middle School and en enrolled my, my college, Iwa uh, Girls College, and then uh, the March 1st mo movement started. And whole family uh, moved to Shanghai, where his father, her father, lived, and studied Chinese missionary boarding school, and mm -hmm. as well as in Japan. And at the time, she met with Park Hyun Young. Park Hyun Young was also joining the March First Movement, and at first he was a nationalist. And then he went to uh, Shanghai to study in United States, but at the time he encountered with the socialism. Mm -hmm and he fascinated with the Marxism at the time. And according to the uh, North Korean doc documents, Alice Young was a civilian employee of the World Department and worked for the Civil Communication Intelligence Group Korea under G2 Intelligence, and she was the first lover of Park Hyun during his stay in Shanghai in early 1920s. Yeah, and but she married with another person named Chong Jun. He, he also participated in the March 1st movement. They are the uh, same uh, independent movement fight fighters. And Chong captured uh, during the March 1st movement and nine months in prison, studied at Japan Kyoto Middle School and Kansai College. Uh, around 1922 or 1923, a baby girl was born. But at the time, Alice became a socialist, involved with, in revolutionary work of the uh, Korean communist activities. She was on uh, Russian steamship from 
and she had like a bloodless dog. According to the Japanese police, she carried a secret mission of Korean Communist Party at the time. And at the time, uh, Moscow shared some lie to Korean independence movement leaders in Shanghai in 1920s. Uh, this is well-known picture of uh, this is Yeonyang, middle of the road, uh, leader, and this one is Kim Yushik. Yeah. And Kim Yushik and Yeonyang was very famous Christian. Uh, they are uh, educated in mission school and also Yeonyang graduated from Joseon uh, Christian Academy. And Kim Yushi was an adopted son of famous uh, Underwood, and he studied at Rana College in Virginia. And, and they are, they run from uh, Christian church and Christian colleges, and they change their position from nationalism to socialism, most probably revolution, because at the time, Russia was the only country who supported the cause of Korean independence movement at the time. So, they participate at the Moscow conference. And this one is as a Hyunsu's credential and his resume. According to the uh, credential, is a Korean name, Wim Chang. There are several Korean ministers' names here. They are all well-known ministers in Shanghai, and all of them are uh, decorated by Korean government as na national patriot, nationalist. But they signed for Hyunsoo's <coughs> participation at, at Moscow conference. And according to the Hyunsoo's resume, he was a delegate of Joseon Yesukyo Taepyo Japei, but uh, he belonged to Shanghai Communist Party, and he went to uh, Joseon Dongnip. Independence of Korea and Gongsan Jishia, realization of communism in Korea, Iraq, right, something like that. And Alice finally moved to Hawaii, and Alice traveled uh, Hawaii, Korea, China from 1924 to 1930. I don't know what happened to her life at the time. Uh, this is mi missing mosaic of, of her life, and at the time she divorced with his wife. Uh, his husband, because I, I think that he has some affairs with some ladies at, at the time, uh, and uh, the political reason was he became a uh, government officer at the time. At one time, he was an uh, independence movement fighter, and he turned, turned his back to as a Japanese officer, so they divorced. But she was pregnant when she was divorced with him, and the baby was this, this is her only son, Wellington Chong, was born. And she moved back to uh, China and back to Hawaii in 1930. We don't know what happened during the time. Yeah, this is Wellington Chong. Uh, his birth certificate, uh, we found it from Charles University Archives. And yeah, his father, Chong Jun, Jun attorney at Law, uh, Fusan, Korea. Uh, he, he was raised, raised by uh, his uh, grandparents at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, the, there, there is no uh, father and mother in, in his life, in his mm -hmm. early days. And in 1931, uh, Alice became naturalized U.S. citizen and studied at Kant College in New York, major English department, but we, uh, she, she stopped her study and returned to Hawaii. And around that period, uh, there is a saying that she joined a uh, U.S. Communist Party Hawaii branch at the time. But we, we don't know exactly. There, there is no uh, evidence on her participation at, at the Communist Party. But there are so many arguments on that. And during the Pacific War, she served in military information agency of the War Department. And also, her brother, Peter, joined uh, Intelligence Service Language School and OSS. At that, at that time, the uh, Koreans who want to the independence of Korea joined the U.S. military forces and fought against Japanese invasions. And uh, this is a pamphlet written by 
Ichiro Ijuka, former communist and labor union leaders of Hawaii, and he argued that Ellis was a member of U.S. Communist Party before Pearl Harbor. And after the liberation of Korea out of the world, she uh, relocated to Tokyo at first. And November 1945, she relocated to Tokyo with 13 Nisei women linguists to ally translator and inter interpreter service under MacArthur. And her, her job was a censor Japanese mayors. But one month later, December, she transferred to Seoul, uh, the Civil Communication Intelligence Group Korea, The mission of, of the CCIGK is examine and intercept mail, telegraphs, and telephones. But according to the chief of intelligence, they argued that she destroyed the function of CCIGK, devil who ruined our mission. And also she met with her friends uh, in Shanghai. 25 years later, Melvin Park Hyung, at the time head of Korean Communist Party, and with Yong Yong, at the time head of Korean People's Party, they are important political figures in Korea. And she uh, joined communist group within military forces in Korea. Yeah. They made military forces yeah, surprised, and she was. Uh, deported from Seoul, from Korea. And this is Alice Young in uh, military uniform. This is all uh, Nisei, uh, Japanese uh, linguist, who landed at Tokyo November 1st, 1945. Yeah, actually I found this picture from uh, the, one of the Nisei intelligence officers in Washington, D.C. and a trace uh, his contact number and met with it. Yeah, this is Mildred Yamamoto. When I visited uh, her house in Virginia, she passed away years ago and met with uh, her husband, uh, Grand Ichikawa. Uh, he was also a Nisei linguist who, sta who stationed in Japan and served as a, a CIA Korean desk head for several years. And he told me that there was a lady who uh, lives in California, and I flew to LA and met with uh, Lanko Taketa, Elaine Yagawa. And she was very shy, and I spent a lot of money to meet with her a <laughs> couple of years. And uh, I asked about Alice Young, and she told me that she was old and she was very nice. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Life story is uh, three and four hours. Yeah. <laughs> and Peter Hyun in military uniform on board to South Korea in 1945. And this is uh, Japanese civil censorship office in Tokyo. Uh, the same organization was activated in Korea. Uh, this is a chart of uh, civil communication intelligence group Korea uh, intercept. Uh, about uh, poster, tele telephone, RC intercept. I, I think uh, in, during the occupation period, uh, the, to write a letter is means <coughs> to write an open letter yeah, to military forces at the time. They in intercept every email, every, every mail. And at, at the time, uh, this is a recommendation letter by Park Hyung to uh, Robert Kronsky, who is a member of U.S. Communist Party and state stationed in uh, South Korea. And Park Hyun Young recommended him to the head of U.S. Communist Party. And also Park Hyun Young's letter to U.S. Communist Party I carried with uh, Robert Kronsky. And this one is poster from North Korea and carried with uh, the uh, army forces who stationed in, in Korea to United States uh, for uh, propaganda. And this one is Kronsky and Jetley. Uh, the headline says, Veterans says, U.S. backed collaborators through their groups to rule over Korea. 
yeah, there's a big punch to the military forces in Korea. Uh, <clears throat> LA Daily, Ta Daily News was also uh, connected with uh, Communist Party at the time. And at last, Alice was uh, expelled from uh, military forces in Korea, and she joined. Uh, uh, she moved to LA and opened a record store and joined some kind of progressive Korean group, Korean Independence News, Dongnip Shimun. At the time, uh, this newspaper. Uh, Very weird one because uh, they are anti uh, United States forces in Korea and anti Sumanri and pro communist pro North Korean line. And they think that uh, Pyongyang might be their utopia and their real homeland. And they send several letters to North Korean leaders, including Park Hong Young and Kim Il sung. The famous one is uh, November 15, 1948, Yi Samin, Sung Hakon to Kim Il-sung and Park Hong-young. There are 26 Korean Communist member, no, members uh, in this letter, also including Alice Young. This is Lebron hyun Sun, Alice Young, and Peter Young, 1948. Yeah, this one is Han Eun-soo, who studied in uh, Europe dur during the uh, 1930 to 1945, and yeah, this story is, will be continued by Vladimir Tlaski. Mm -hmm. And this one is a letter written by Isamin and Son Hagon to Kim Il sung and Park Hong Young. And this letter was captured during the U.S. occupation march to Pyongyang, captured at the uh, government building in Pyongyang. And this is Lebron Isamin and Son Hagon. Also, he was he went he went to Pyongyang via Praha, and he was accused as U.S. spy by North Korea and executed around 1956 with Park Hong-young. And this one is the only only one who survived from the political turmoil during the, the uh, Cold War period. He passed away last year in L.A. And Alice uh, moved to Praha with uh, her son, Wellington. Wellington wanted to study medicine at Charles University, and he moved to Praha first, and then Alice followed. And she stayed there uh, nine months and left Praha. She uh, stayed in Praha and joined several activities. Mm -hmm. And met with North Korean representative who, joined, uh, who participated at the conference held in Praha. Yeah, this is farewell party for Wellington Chong. Yeah, this is Wellington and Lebron Hyun-sun and Alice and David Hyun. Yeah, and Peter Hyun. He passed away uh, two, 2014, 13 maybe. And this uh, this picture was found by Vladimir uh, from British Park. British Park. Park. Anyway, yeah. Uh, they are a North Korean representative, a famous Park uh, jong hae Han so novelist. Uh -huh. And this one is Kim chang -jun. Yeah. And Wellington and Alice Young uh, sit behind them. And <coughs> when she arrived in Pyongyang, she became a personal secretary of Park hong -yong. At the time, he was vice premier and minister of foreign affairs. And she wrote articles uh, to the North Korean magazine. And, but during the Korean War period, she was caught as U.S. spy and accused as U.S. intelligence spy who, who connected Park hong with U.S. intelligence agency. And I think in December 1955, Park hong trial opened and Alice and Isami was pointed as a critical figure who connected Park hong with U.S. intelligence agency, but they did not show up at the trial. I don't know what happened to their uh, fate, but in August 1950, 
six department of executive with a uh, due process, and Alice might be executed at the time. This is Nodong Shinmun, trial on South Korean Labor Party, and yeah, several documents from National Archives. And when Alice was uh, in prison and executed by North Korean government, uh, her brothers in LA was testified at the House Committee on American Activities, the famous HUA, suspected as communist. Yeah. And Davis suffered to be deported for 15 years, detained at Angel Avalanche. And at the time, uh, her son, Wellington, stuck in Czech and committed suicide in 1963. Yeah, who is Alicia? I, I think that she was a descendant of March 1st movement. She joined to the Korean independence movement and she was raised <coughs> as a nationalist family and became a nationalist. But after the March 1st movement, uh, her family and uh, patriots in Shanghai uh, changed from nationalist to socialist. The only way to uh, support from Moscow. And she was also some kind of uh, several identities, multiple identities. Because she was naturalized US citizen, but she won't be, uh, she denied her citizenship and she denied the uh, Japanese national. And she denied the South Korean national as well. And she wanted to be a real Korea, but there was no real Korea when she left Korea in 1920s. She always dreamed and imagined her real Korea. There was no real Korea in, in reality. And she was, she, supported, she was a supporter of the Korean independence movement, yes. And after liberation, she pursued her way of real Korea, anti-Korean, anti korean anti uh, U.S. military government in Korea and anti-Sumanri, pro-communist and pro-North Korea. And she hoped and believed that North Korea might be her Shangri-La. Yeah, hope, last hope. But she was executed in North Korea. She was a master of her own destiny, but executed in North Korea as spy. So she became known as Korea's Matahari. But I think and she was uh, some kind of revolutionary as well. Yeah, that's my story. <coughs> and Vladimir will continue. So, so Professor Jung talked about uh, Alice Young, uh, the, the mother of uh, Wellingtons and uh, uh, she was the, the real revolutionary. Um, Wellington uh, tried to follow her in her footsteps, and, uh, uh, but he was limited in his existence by uh, he, uh, uh, <clears throat> he became adult only after the Second World War, and after that he followed his mother's advice to uh, go to Czechoslovakia and, uh, and he tried to move to uh, North Korea to follow his, uh, his mother, but he couldn't. So he was restricted in what he could, uh, what he could achieve. And, um, and I'll talk a little bit about his, his childhood, how he was growing up uh, without his parents in Hawaii. And, but the real action really starts in 1945 when he becomes adult and he, uh, uh, with his mother, they make a plan to try to get to North Korea uh, through Central Europe. Um, and uh, and we'll, I'll talk a little bit about how, they, uh, how he interacted with his mother during these years. Um, so, so, so far, uh, Professor Jung said that uh, uh, Alice Young uh, uh, got divorced in, in Korea uh, uh, to her husband, 
and uh, as she was uh, uh, getting divorced, she was already pregnant with uh, uh, the man. And uh, on the way to uh, to Hawaii, uh, so she, she traveled to Hawaii already pregnant with uh, with the baby. And then Wellington Chung was born in uh, in Hawaii. Right? So his last name is after the uh, the father. Um, Wellington was a was a name that was picked by uh, by Alice's uh, father, Hanson, uh, after uh, after whom? Well, uh, after Wellington Koo, the, the famous politician. Um, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, one maybe one one thing to mention here is uh, so I will show a lot of pictures from Wellington's life. Um, and you may have seen some of them actually in, uh, in Peter Hyun's uh, uh, books. I, I saw that they're available in the back. So some of these uh, pictures come from uh, the Hyun the family. But other pictures uh, come from other sources. Uh, let's say from, from the uh, archives in Czechoslovakia uh, and from uh, some friends of uh, Wellington Chung in, in Prague that uh, only recently got discovered. So, so there are some unique pictures to show, I think. Um, <clears throat> so some of these books, uh, some of these pictures come from, uh, from uh, Peter Hyun's uh, books, or David Hyun also. Uh, they show how uh, Wellington, right, so uh, Wellington was growing up with his uh, grandparents, Hyun and uh, Hyun wife, and uh, uh, we have some, I believe this is uh, Wellington as he was growing up. This is Wellington with his uh, grandparents. Uh, I believe this is Wellington again with his uh, grandparents while his, uh, so his father was in Korea at the time and, uh, and uh, Wellington had no uh, contact with him. He would never meet him. He never expressed interest in meeting his father. And his, uh, his mother, Alice Young, was uh, traveling on political missions uh, between Korea, China, uh, Japan, and Hawaii. So he, uh, they, they didn't meet too much. And, uh, and they only really met after the Second World War. So he was born in 1927, and he would only meet Really, they would uh, only settle down with his mother in 1946, I believe. So when he was uh, 19 years old. And more, this is a, again a picture of a, uh, Wellington as a, as a little cowboy from the uh, from the Hyun family archives. Uh, uh, the, uh, we don't have too much information uh, about Wellington except for what his family wrote about him. So the, uh, there were just accounts that uh, he was a smiley, friendly boy, uh, bright. Uh, we, uh, we have some school records about him uh, because he studied at Charles University in, in Prague and so all of his uh, school records uh, are stored there. And uh, he was a good student. He, he was planning to study medicine. His, uh, his dream was to become the first doctor in his family. Uh, his uh, first medical doctor, and actually it turned out that uh, he would be the, the first Korean doctor uh, in Czechoslovakia um, uh, after studying at uh, Charles University. Um, so he so he did preparation from from middle school. He he took science classes. Uh, um, he uh, he went to University of Hawaii where he took some. Uh, science classes. He tried to be active. He, uh, he was a part of a, um, a debate team. Um, in 1945, we believe it was, uh, it, it was probably a plan they made with his mother that uh, she was stationed in Seoul at the time and uh, it may have been a plan for Wellington to travel around the world and uh, rejoin her there. So, so he joined, um, he became a sailor with a, with a commercial uh, uh, ferry and uh, traveled 
across the world, including to China. And his plan was to, to disembark in China and, uh, and get to Korea through China. But at the time, but uh, he didn't manage to disembark uh, because of the, uh, the uh, Japanese-Chinese war, some Japanese war. And uh, so unfortunately, he couldn't get off and he had to return to Hawaii. So there was one attempt where they could have uh, reuni reunited and made it to their, their native land of Korea and it didn't work out for him. And shortly after, it also didn't work out for Alice. She, uh, uh, she was uh, accused by the US Army of uh, collaborating with uh, South Korean communists and uh, she was sent back she was discharged and sent back to Hawaii. Uh, Alice Young settled in Los Angeles when she returned to the U.S. She, uh, she bought, bought a house and uh, she was renting, uh, renting out a house there and I think uh, owning, uh, owning a, a store, a liquor store maybe. And uh, Wellington moved to Los Angeles to live with her. So finally they, they, they reunited, they stayed to, uh, together uh, for some time, except a new, a new event happened. That at that point, uh, uh, a, a Korean archaeologist who was working in Prague, Han Hung Su, whose picture we saw much earlier uh, in Professor Jung's uh, presentation, he got in touch with the uh, Californian uh, communists and uh, and uh, a group of Koreans in California got an idea to communicate through Hanungsu, through Prague, with uh, North Korean leadership, and possibly to even uh, go to Korea through Czechoslovakia. So Hanungsu uh, sent uh, a lot of letters and uh, wrote articles for for a newspaper, Korean Independence News, and uh, in his articles he. Uh, uh, he uh, uh, wrote um, uh, uh, in a very flowery way about the, the situation in North Korea under socialism and the and the, uh, the situation under socialism in in uh, Czechoslovakia. Um, and uh, so in so uh, and this was uh, 1946. And I think right away, Alice Young and a couple of her colleagues and Wellington got the idea of, uh, uh, of uh, finally traveling to North Korea through Czechoslovakia. And what, uh, what we believe is that Alice and uh, Wellington decided that Wellington would travel there first. Maybe Alice had, uh, still had uh, activities to do in California, so she would send her son ahead to study in Prague uh, at the Charles University and uh, she would follow him a few uh, months later and maybe together or with some delay they would uh, continue on through Moscow, Beijing to, uh, to Pyongyang. So, uh, right. Here I uh, just put uh, a couple of more pictures. Again, we, we have very few pictures of uh, Alice and Wellington together. They were never together. So only really these three pictures. One, when Wellington was born. One, this is a going away party for Wellington before he, he uh, uh, travels to, to Czechoslovakia. So this is his uh, going away dinner with a full, full table and the whole, the whole family present. And one picture from Czechoslovakia, uh, 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 from an international congress. We, we just accidentally uh, spotted this picture uh, in a, a, a communist propaganda video from that international congress. In the back of that picture, uh, we see Wellington, who is bored, out of his mind, and his mother maybe listening attentively to the presentations. And he was he was a student at the time, maybe 20 years old. So uh, uh, <coughs> he was probably just following his mother to that uh, presentation. 
Okay. So, so as I said, so in 1946, Alice and Wellington started living together in Los Angeles. Um, right then, they started receiving correspondence from Prague. And right away, they had this plan to go to Czechoslovakia. Uh, Wellington uh, started preparing for his uh, travel. He, he enrolled for uh, uh, one semester or one year in a pre-medical pre program at, uh, um, at uh, University of California, Los Angeles. Uh, uh, wrote an application uh, to Charles University in Prague. Initially it was rejected because uh, he couldn't speak Czech, so he wouldn't be able to follow lessons. And in, in uh, 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 November 1948, he, he traveled to Czechoslovakia. And um, uh, one, uh, on, on his way to Czechoslovakia, he was uh, already uh, 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 helping his mother. He, uh, he, brought, he, he took a letter that was written by uh, uh, Koreans in California to be passed on to the North Korean leadership. So, there was a, uh, so he, he, he took a letter with him, he passed it to, uh, to Congress delegates in Prague to send with them to Pyongyang. Okay. Uh, eventually, uh, next year, he applied again to Charles University. He uh, wrote an application letter in his own handwriting in Czech language. So he started studying Czech language intensively, uh, got accepted. Um, oops. And, uh, and that's why and that's how uh, Wellington received uh, uh, an envelope in the university archives. So uh, we were lucky to, to discover uh, his school records and other information, letters that uh, uh, Wellington wrote to the university or decisions that the university wrote to Wellington through the through Charles University archive. Okay. Uh, at the university, Wellington tried to stay active. He participated in the uh, student union. He went to um, uh, some con uh, student congresses. Um, uh, he, but he didn't. Uh, uh, he wasn't very. He didn't live in a very stable way in in Prague. He moved around. So. Um, these pictures that I'm showing now are not significant. It, they just show the different houses where Wellington Chang lived in Prague. And I, I tried to trace him um, uh, uh, through these different addresses. Uh, Wellington was subleasing, for, with, uh, subleasing uh, rooms with uh, his colleagues, uh, uh, living with, uh, with uh, one a prominent uh, American communist uh, expat family in uh, in Prague, George Wheeler's family, and uh, so I was uh, impressed when I arrived at the address where I knew that Wellington had stayed, and I discovered that there is a bell with still with Wheeler's name on it. So the, the descendants of the family still live there, and uh, and through this George, uh, uh, this Wheeler family. Uh, I was able to get some photographs of Wellington uh, that uh, we didn't know about before. Okay, so Wellington moved around. Uh, so he was studying there from 1949 until 1955. And uh, uh, one interesting trend that we observed was that he was doing well. He, was, uh, uh, he started studying very well. And at some point his grades uh, dramatically deteriorated. At that point, we know that uh, we, from a different archive of the secret police, we know that he became a collaborator with the secret police. And after that, uh, Wellington's grades dramatically improved again. So we can only speculate whether there is a relationship uh, uh, that Wellington was forced into collaboration and uh, uh, maybe he was uh, threatened uh, that uh, uh, 
the secret police could, could put him in trouble uh, at the university. Uh, uh, and, uh, and there were some vulnerabilities that the secret police could, could uh, um, uh, take advantage of to, to pressure him into becoming uh, a collaborator for them. So we also know that there were several spies who were reporting on Wellington's life. Uh, throughout his life in Czechoslovakia, the regime didn't trust him. So there, uh, there were two American women who were, um, who were reporting on him. Uh, this, uh, 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 this woman maybe had an aff uh, affair with him, maybe even to, to collect information on, uh, on his existence. Uh, this picture is of uh, uh, Peggy Lash at the time when she was uh, uh, making an oath with secret police uh, when she was starting her spying service for the uh, secret police, after which she would report on uh, Wellington's life. Uh, uh, Rose Lavoud is another friend of Wellington's who wrote extensive uh, notes on Wellington's life. And we, 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 we see these reports in, in the secret police archives. Uh, Wellington's name is also in the official uh, registry of uh, collaborators with the secret, uh, uh, secret service. So there's this, after the uh, uh, revolution of uh, 1989, when uh, commun communism was abolished in uh, Czechoslovakia, uh, Many secret service files became available publicly, publicly, and the, the name of collaborators with the with the regime uh, got online. And uh, just searching for Wellington's name, we we got several. We got we have some records now. Unfortunately, many of these files were destroyed. I don't know if intentionally or just over time. So we couldn't. There is not that much information on his spying activities or his collaboration with the regime. But uh, we know that he was officially registered with them. His, uh, his code name was Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, his family uh, members are also me uh, mentioned in uh, these, uh, <coughs> these secret police uh, files. So, uh, like I will say that he, he married a Czech woman, Anna, and had a daughter with her, Tabita, and a stepson, Jan. So, and all of these people are, uh, I believe here, Chang, Chang Anna, Chang Tabita, Jan Shafranek is the stepson, are mentioned in secret uh, service files. But, uh, but actually, there are no files. All of them were destroyed shortly after the, the revolution. Okay. So, so he graduated. I'll try to keep it really quick. Uh, so he, uh, at that point, uh, so we don't know too much about his life. We, we know that he finished school successfully in 1955. Um, he got assigned to, uh, to work in a hospital in the far east of, of the country. It could mean that the regime still was uh, skeptical about him. They didn't assign him to a hospital in Prague or around, but they sent him to the complete rural area. So this is the map of the country. This is uh, where... So in 1948, when he came to Czechoslovakia the first time, he traveled through Europe. I think he landed in Paris and then traveled maybe by train through border crossing at Kep to Prague. There he stayed for maybe six years. At that point he was reassigned to work in a, in a, a rural hospital in uh, uh, Ružomberok and stayed over a year there. At that point, because he was just done with the medical studies, he was ready to go to North Korea to follow his, uh, his mother. But the uh, North Korean uh, embassy refused to grant him visa. So he knew that he would stay in Czechoslovakia a while longer. He got lucky, he got reassigned to a different hospital, closer to Prague, in a, um, in a uh, resort town, Karlovivari. And, uh, and since then, he, he, sp uh, he spent his time in this, uh, in this region. Karlovivari are in the, the region that belongs under the regional capital, Pilsen, 
that's the Pilsner Urquell, it comes uh, from there. Uh, and uh, uh, so he, uh, he, when he started working at this hospital, he collaborated with the doctors in uh, Pilsen uh, to uh, do medical research with them. And from, from Karol Vivari, he could also easily travel to Prague by train uh, uh, if he wanted to meet his uh, expat friends or the arrivals from the, uh, the Korean Americans who were arriving in Prague from, from the US. Um, he, you, uh, you may remember some of these pictures before. These, uh, these people are the associates of Alice Hunts from California. Uh, Isa Min was a, uh, was a reverend and colleague of uh, Alice Hunts who traveled through Prague with her. Uh, so he also traveled from California through Prague to Pyongyang. And he was also, uh, he also vanished or was executed uh, around the same time when Pak Hun and Alice Young was executed. Uh, Kwak Chung Soon and Kwak Chun Cha are, uh, were musicians from South Korea who, who worked around Chicago and New York City and eventually they were uh, deported from the US and uh, they also chose Czechoslovakia as their deportation country and from Czechoslovakia they continued on to Pyongyang and there they, they vanished. So Hakwon traveled around the same time as Alice Young from, from California to, uh, to Prague, stayed uh, uh, maybe uh, less than a year in Prague and then he decided that he saw enough of communism and decided to return to, uh, to the US. So originally, at least, uh, he, uh, he alleges that he wanted to continue to Pyongyang but uh, he says that he changed his mind and uh, decided to live in the US and to re uh, 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 renounce uh, communism uh, we also think that uh, North Korea refused to grant him visa and that was another reason why he did, uh, didn't, didn't continue, didn't stay in Czechoslovakia but returned to, uh, to the US. Uh, John Jun and uh, his wife Anna Song, another couple that worked with Alice Young, part of uh, Korean independence news and uh, became deported for their communist activities they chose Czechoslovakia as their destiny, uh, deportation country and from there they continued to Pyongyang and vanished. And Daimut Kim and his uh, uh, Russian-born American wife also he was deported for communist activities in, uh, in California chose Czechoslovakia as, the, uh, as his deportation country continued to Pyongyang and vanished. So, uh, so Wellington knew these people from, uh, 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 from uh, their association with Alice. He likely met them in, in California. Uh, he stayed with uh, Isamin in New York City for a few months. Uh, and it's likely that uh, at the time when they were passing through Prague, uh, Wellington met them on the way. Uh, we have just a couple of pictures of Wellington as, uh, when he worked as a doctor. Um, Wellington with some colleagues. Wellington performing uh, surgery. Uh, from uh, these pictures uh, are from uh, George Wheeler and his family, because Wellington, when he worked in Karlovy in the resort town, he he sent his friends these pictures. Uh, Wellington tried to stay active. He he translated uh, some books from uh, English into Czech, or vice versa. I believe the other way around. From Czech into into English, uh, and he he uh, uh, did original medical research either by himself or with uh, uh, doctors in his hospital. Uh, uh, he got 
got married and uh, had, a, had a daughter. This is uh, his newborn daughter, daughter with a stepson. Oops. But uh, Wellington, but Wellington was trapped in Czechoslovakia. He, uh, so his, his daughter was born in 1958. By that time, he may have heard or heard rumors that his mother was executed. And so he knew that he couldn't continue to Pyongyang. He also kept getting rejections from the North Korean embassy. He, uh, at that time, also his uncles in uh, California uh, were being persecuted and uh, they were interrogated by, uh, by the uh, by various uh, federal agencies for their communist activities, and uh, and uh, he he was and uh, Wellington was openly communist, so he he couldn't go back to uh, to the U.S. either. Uh, so he felt trapped. He actually uh, 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 renounced his U.S. citizenship, became a, a Czech citizen. Uh, we, from, uh, we, we have some letters that uh, uh, he sent to his uh, uh, relatives in California and that they sent him. And these are very sad letters where they, uh, uh, they're so happy that he has a baby, uh, but yet they're very sad that uh, uh, it's not likely that they will meet him soon. And uh, so... Uh, uh, So in 1963, all we know is uh, that uh, uh, one day on October 28th, which is the, uh, coincidentally, it's the uh, uh, Czechoslovak day of uh, independence from uh, Austria-Hungary, uh, so it's a holiday, uh, he, he locked himself in the laboratory of his hospital and, uh, and took uh, pills and took his wife. We can only speculate that uh, his, uh, his desperation and his uh, uh, entrapment in Czechoslovakia uh, were some of the reasons that forced him to take his life. We have a record of uh, Wellington, uh, Wellington's uh, funeral. And uh, the last thing I can say that after his death, um, uh, his family, uh, his wife, and two children struggled, but um, uh, within a year they, they succeeded at uh, uh, moving to California with the help of uh, the Hyun family. So they, they reunited with the Hyuns in California. Uh, they lived in this house apparently, and, uh, uh, and we have some pictures from from the Young Family Archive or from uh, George Wheeler uh, of, uh, of their life in the U.S. after Wellington's uh, death. So this is uh, Anna Shafrankova, Wellington's wife, Tabitha daughter, stepson Jan, with George Wheeler and I think David Jan in uh, Los Angeles. And here we have another picture, Anna Shafrankova with the Young Family at a family reunion, Oops. and maybe finally, a big family picture of uh, Anna, her husband, her new husband in California, and uh, Tabitha, stepson, and the young family. Last picture, oops, <clears throat> that I will leave on the screen is uh, you know, the future of uh, Wellington's uh, family. Uh, oops, uh, Wellington's stepson, Wellington's uh, grandchildren, grandsons, Wellington's daughter, and Wellington's wife, two year, uh, three years ago with Wellington's daughter, still living in California. Thank you very much. questions? Thank you.
for example, went to Poland or Hungary at the same time? Ah, no. <laughs> um, we know that uh, some of these people, and Professor Jung, Professor Jung might know more about this, uh, but uh, uh, we know that many of these uh, uh, Koreans in California applied to, or in the US generally, applied to uh, different embassies, to Soviet Union, Poland, um, uh, and even others like uh, India and so on, but they didn't hear back or they didn't receive the permission. Only, and it worked out somehow through Czechoslovakia. Um, Thank you. Thank you for your presentation and research. What I'm wondering about as I look at the faces of the family members is did any of them know the story of their parents or grandparents? And how did they react to think that they might have ended up in North Korea? You know, people vanished and et cetera. We don't know much. We we haven't uh, we haven't interviewed them. Oh, okay. uh, we only got in touch with uh, with uh, Tabita, the daughter. But uh, she, uh, I think she was a little bit sheltered from her family's history. Uh, her mother didn't want to expose her, uh, so Tabitha herself didn't know. She knew that uh, uh, her father committed suicide, but she did, uh, didn't know why. Um, uh, and we, we couldn't, uh, the, only, the only member of the family here that, we, uh, that would, know, would have some information is uh, Anna, the, the, the wife of Wellingtons, but we, uh, she's in poor state of health, so we couldn't uh, get that with her. But I, I think they, they, they know the family history, they are in touch with the young family, so uh, they, they know everything that uh, Peter Young has uh, written. Um, but maybe they view it as a, kind of as, a, as a story of another family, they don't uh, consider themselves as the survivors, victims, or so on. Thank you for your presentation. My name is Max Lunier, and uh, Professor Chang, you said that you were attracted to you know, the family history of theirs, and <laughs> of course, the case of Korea was really, really impoverished country, but I think in some aspect they were kind of privileged because they got highly educated and they had famous friends and they lived a very international life back and forth between Korea and US and Japan and Russia and so on. Um, but ended up in a tragedy, like committing suicide and ex being executed. But if you had a chance to decide, would you rather <laughs> live a life as a spy under political tur turmoil, like similar to theirs, or are you just satisfied with your current life as a university professor. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Alice and Wellington uh, were the citizens, US citizens, to, so they have a liberty of, of free travel. So US visa and US passport made them made travel across the whole over the world. And at the time in Korea, nobody imagined to travel across the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans to uh, Praha, Beijing, Moscow, to Pyongyang. It was impossible for them. But Alice and Wellington were, were the citizens of the United States that enabled them to travel across the border and they made their destiny. Thank you very much.